The 2025 Nobel Prize was given to three individuals for basically discovering T-Regs. Their basic role is to act as the police of the police. The police being our greater immune system that targets viruses, targets antigens, targets other human cells that have been affected by a virus or an antigen and are now falling apart. So T cells are normally involved with identifying those guys and then gearing them up for greater immune like therapy, greater immune attack from macrophages, from all these other kinds of things that come in. And once the T cell has identified that bad cell, the other guys come in and sort of take care of business, right? But every once in a while, the T cell is gonna is gonna identify one of your own as a bad cell because all it is is a lock and key method and sometimes the locks and the keys don't work like they're supposed to. And so what these regulatory key T cells do is they inhibit that immune response, mm -hmm. right? Since then, it's been, you know, 40 years of research since this all, all of this has been happening. And now we figured out that Tregs aren't just about controlling immunity, right? They can also directly influence non-immune tissue function in, in a way that previously we hadn't really seen immune cells do. Okay, so one of the things in, in, in today's topic, th there's so many different ways that Tregs are, are doing this, where they're doing this non-immune function. But um, the thing that we'll focus on today was discovered in 2013, and it shows that Tregs are really involved in muscle rep repair and regeneration. We've got a, um, that's, the, that's the paper that came out of Harvard Medical School by um, Berzine and others in Nature Medicine in 2013. They're the ones who found a population of Tregs in damaged muscle cell tissue that can actually promote repair of those muscles, okay? And the way it works is in photo four, you go, these Tregs, they actually sit in your muscles. So they're tissue resident instead of sort of circulating in the blood. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we think of immune cells as just circulating in the bloodstream, right? And they go and they find stuff to take care of. These are tissue resident T cells Tregs that are found in our muscle tissue. And what they do is they modulate the action of stem cells. Stem cells are the cells that don't really have an identity yet, but they lead to progenitor cells that lead to some kind of tissue cell. So in this case, they would become muscle progenitor cells that would then become new muscle cells and repair and damage the, the tissue there. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. And they, and these kinds of, of um, stem cells are found all over. They're found in our bone marrow. They're found in our muscles. They're found in our hair follicles. 